Godzilla by David Seltzer. Pictures by Jared Chapman. Birdie was a big codfish. Very big. When you're big, it's hard to fit in. And sometimes you don't know your own strength. Sorry, guys. But Birdie was quite gentle too. His favorite activity was reading in his, in his school's library. He especially loved the books about sharks. Maxwell was another cod in the school. His favorite activity was making Birdie's life miserable. Hey, everybody, look at the monster, he would say. When Birdie would ask him to stop, Maxwell would always shout, Hey, guys, what's this beast's name again? Godzilla, the other fish would reply, and then they would laugh. Ha ha, hee hee, turtle turtle snort. Birdie tried swimming away from Maxwell. He tried hiding. He even tried playing dead, but nothing worked. Maxwell was always up in his gills. So one day, Birdie ate him. Ah, thought Birdie, that's the end of my problems. Let me out! But Maxwell's buddies were on to him. You're in big trouble, Godzilla, they shouted. So Birdie swallowed them too. You can't just keep eating everyone, said the school nurse. Mmm, said Birdie, school nurse. Now I'll be one happy fish, he thought. He could finally read about sharks in peace. Of course, it wasn't peaceful with all that bumping in his belly. He needed a plan. Hey, move over! Let us out! Grr. He read a book and got an idea. Pinocchio. He could make himself sneeze. Ah-choo! He went to the ancient book section and opened the dustiest book he could find. Dusty books make everyone sneeze. Achoo! Yuck! Phew! Sorry about that, guys, said Bertie, offering a fin of friendship. Get away from us, Godzilla, they all said. Things were even worse now. <laughs> Birdie started to cry. Feeling empty, Birdie decided to leave his school forever. Help! Help! came the sudden squeals. The whole school was racing toward Birdie. Shush! Shush! Shark! cried Maxwell. We need somewhere to hide. Get in! What are they? demanded the shark. Mm -hmm, mumbled Birdie. If I don't find those fish, I'm going to eat you, bones and all. Birdie showed him the book he was reading. Did you know that sharks have no bones, he said? I'm boneless, asked the shark. Birdie nodded. Fine, but I can still sink my teeth into you. Uh, did you know, said Birdie, that sharks lose teeth when they eat? How many teeth? Uh, it says here you lose thousands over your lifetime. Gulp. Nice try, fish, growled the shark. It's time to say goodbye, Bertie thought fast. 
Isn't there uh, anything else you want to know about sharks? The shark eyed the shelves. Wow, he whispered. Do you know anything about getting rid of shark breath? It's for a friend. I understand, said Bertie. Take this, but you'd better get going. Some sharks can't breathe if they stand still. When the shark had gone, Bertie let loose. Achoo! Hooray! Yes! Splendid! As a reward for saving the school, Principal Crab awarded Bertie a very special title, Junior Librarian. Our hero! And no one ever called him Codzilla again. From then on, that library had very big borrowers and one very important rule, no eating in the library. <laughs>